Great. So our next comparison will actually be Google Analytics versus Amplitude. Um, again, this would be another comparison that it's not completely a fair comparison because they, they play slightly different roles. They were built for slightly different reasons. Um, and in really, in most cases, most companies will actually use both. But let's understand why one tool works for one case versus the other, right? So let's start with Amplitude. Uh, and Amplitude is really built to understand product behavior or user behavior, right? So this means that if you imagine you're a SaaS company, um, you have uh, the, let's take like, a, like a, a customer journey, right? So you have users come to your website, right? Anonymous users, you know who they are from campaigns. And they're going to browse your website. Eventually, they'll sign up for your product, whether it's a trial or a pay, it doesn't matter. And they'll start using the product, right? So they're going to go to the onboarding, then to actually using the product, then things like retention and so on. So effectively, really, anything after the sign up, then that really becomes Amplitude's realm, right? That's where Amplitude really starts to shine. And a lot of the reports and things they built into the product are really for that aspect. Now, everything before that aspect, it's really typically geared better for, mark, uh, for Google Analytics. And Google Analytics is still really the gold standard for analyzing marketing traffic and marketing campaigns, right? So when, when we jump into some of Google Analytics, and here is a, a demo account from, from that Google provides, right? The most common things that uh, people tend to talk about here are things like the attribution report, uh, which this little here, right? We see the different uh, temp, uh, channel types, uh, channel grouping, and then we see things like e-commerce sales or maybe some other goal that we have set up. Uh, we can look at uh, some user behavior, like some of the content they're reading. Uh, we can look at conversions, like e-commerce, uh, audience. We have some demographics. So this is all really good uh, for marketing analysis, right? Analyzing your marketing website, where users are coming from, what content they're engaging with, and pretty much everything driving up to that sign up. In fact, that sign up can be typically a goal that we can use to track and understand everything else. And in the moment that happens, we're gonna move on uh, to, to Amplitude. That has to be a fit. Now, if you're e-commerce, for example, if you're an e-commerce site, Google Analytics might actually be all you need, right? Because uh, Google Analytics has built-in e-commerce tracking. Uh, so you can look at very, uh, a handful of e-commerce metrics, like average order value and so on. So this might be the only tool you need. But if you're a, a software company or a mobile app or, or a SaaS product, a web app or cross-platform product, typically you're going to want this for marketing insight and marketing analysis. And then the actual product usage will be done in amplitude. Now, a common use case where you start to see a little bit of hybridness is uh, a product uh, or marketing manager might still say, okay, great, I, Google Analytics can show me all the signups by channel breakdown, campaign breakdown, ad breakdown. So I can see that Facebook ad drove this many signups versus Google ads and so on. But I also want to see which of those users actually onboarded or which ones are actually retained two months from now or which ones actually, you know, actually pay money and they become paying subscribers or paying users. Those things are still Amplitude's realm, right? And in there, we can start to build some reports. So for example, we can look at this report here. So here we have a, a refer domain where we see what domains were bringing the most users to, to a website. And what, what you might see here is you might see that you have a marketing website and in the marketing website, you're loading Google Analytics. So you load a little JavaScript snippet, doesn't matter how you do it. But you're also loading the Amplitude uh, JavaScript snippet. So that is Amplitude is also tracking all of the marketing webs and marketing activity to be able to give uh, a more complete picture, right? To be able to say, okay, we can see all the activity from before the sign up. And then we're really going to start using it to look at stuff after the sign up, but we also need that uh, data from before the sign up, right? So things like UTM tags, UTM parameters, uh, those are things that you can start collecting in Amplitude. So you're able to do that more long-term analysis, right? If you, if you want to say, okay, show me last touch UTM tags, and I want to see the revenue report that we saw earlier in this course, and we want to see the breakdown by that, right? So that is something that to collect the UTM tags, you need to do it on the marketing website, right? Because you need to do it at the, land, at the landing page level and so on. But it's really more useful for analysis down the funnel, right? Down where you're looking at more product usage. So that's the way you can start to see a little bit of split. So both tools will collect marketing data, but really Google Analytics will be uh, the marketing analysis tool that you can use quite a bit. Um, and then Amplitude can be for everything post sign up when it comes to product things, product related questions, or really more long-term uh, product related questions. Another benefit to keep in mind is that almost everyone 
is has some familiarity with Google Analytics to some extent, some some knowledge of some kind. Um, so maybe in your marketing team, this can be the tool of choice to to do most of the marketing questions, and then you can eventually build uh, some expertise, some internal training around how to use amplitude for other things. So, if you want it, uh, you could possibly use amplitude to track everything. So just your marketing website, just from start to finish, that could be a possibility. Um, but you might find that there are some things that are missing, right? Um, Google Analytics, for example, calculates some metrics for you automatically. So things like, um, let's see, things like bounce rate, um, pages per session maybe. These are things that Google Analytics is calculating automatically for you. Uh, all the demographic data that you, that you might get here is also being collected by Google, by Google Analytics automatically. Uh, so this are, there are some things that you 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 could you technically do in Amplitude will be the question. You could technically do it, but it might require more setup. And at that point, you're effectively duplicating what Google Analytics can do. And the question becomes, why? Right? Why not just stick to that, stick to Google Analytics, and then use the, the right tool at the right time? Uh, either way, you have options, right? Google Analytics will be free up to, uh, well, it'll be free forever and it'll work quite well up to maybe about a million visits a month. Uh, after that, you, you're likely gonna have to make some choices on that uh, if you go enterprise or if you find another tool. And of course, Amplitude has uh, different pricing depending on, on, on event volume and so on. Uh, but that's, that's how you can think of both tools. Uh, they are really complementary to each other uh, instead of being really uh, true competitors to each other.